Hello, this is Paul Russo, your friendly Opal director. Even though I've got my Colorado hat on, I am here in Atlanta, Georgia, when I should be skiing. A few days ago, I went into the lab and uh, made a video about using our five-place precision sartorius analytical balance. Now, one of the exercises that you'll get to do at the end of this, once you've mastered it, is trying to see if the balance can weigh fingerprints. So you can guess from that that it's a kind of a delicate thing, but it's still one of the things that students often learn first in Opal. So let's go ahead and uh, wind it back two days and go into lab and uh, see what we think. Okay, so we're here in the MRDC 4346 lab, otherwise known as Opal's prep lab. And one of the things that we do here is to prepare samples. And an important um, feature of this, an important part of that, is this beautiful five-place balance. And we like to keep it that way. It's about seven years old now. You can see it looks much better than almost any balance we'll see here at Georgia Tech or anywhere. One reason uh, for that is that uh, when you're using it, it has this motion-detected camera and uh, you're recorded, not uh, what you say, uh, just what you do, just your presence is there. And we check that, and if something goes wrong, we can find out what went wrong. So let me go ahead now and set this up, and we'll walk through this. So what we're going to do is just make a simple tear and read. And I don't know if you can actually read the scale too clearly. When you get close to it, it lights up and it's currently at zero. Thing is on it. And the uh, guiding principle here for glove use and surfaces is uh, that anything we touch should be clean enough to touch without gloves. But nevertheless, we often wear gloves. In this case, the rule of the balance is no gloved fingertips, it is shown right here, no gloved fingertips, knuckles are okay if they're clean. The knuckle of the glove is clean, your hand knuckles are clean. I'm going to do kind of a hybrid, I'm going to wear one glove, and um, that means that the ungloved hand could have bacteria or something on it. So we'll grab a chem light and we'll sanitize slightly. Uh, we'll use uh, ethanol water in this case. Uh, we're switching to Just be careful you don't mess up the settings. We're switching to regular isopropanol, since it's available now. And now, that surface is deemed to be COVID-free. Push that back to go to normal. And for one reason or another, it's thinking about its weight a little bit. And it reads 0.000. .000. It's thinking about it. It will come down to zero again, I believe. All right, so now I'm going to put a uh, square perimeter cubette in here. Knuckles are okay. To open the door. Notice that it has doors on the left. And it has a door on the top, which I want to close. Fingertips. 
we'll give that time to settle. The purpose of the shroud around the uh, balance is to prevent wind drafts. You can hear probably the hood running in the background. There's a lot of wind in these labs, and some people will actually take the whole balance and put it under another windshield, but we don't seem to need that here. Okay, so it is settled, and I know that, I'm not touching here, I know that because the little G light has come on, okay, otherwise it was kind of grayed out slightly. And I should write this number down, 1.96277, okay. So I would write that down in my lab book, but then I won't go ahead and tear it, I'll do that with a knuckle. Knuckles are clean, right? And we're going to add, and I'll put gloves back on. We're going to add one mil to the uh, sample. And this is, uh, should come out as adding a gram, huh? Now, when you use these devices, the trick is to I'll squeeze it out again and start fresh. Notice that they have a push there and then a push all the way down. There's a stop. You can't feel that stop, but trust me, there's a stop there. I guess I can hear it. And when I push all the way down, then I eject everything. But the push to point, the light push point, is when you get 1.000 mils. So you insert the tip there. Gently bring it up. I don't normally use this top loading feature, but I will today. I will study with two hands and be sure I don't squirt something noxious on the balance pan itself. And we'll push everything in. And when you get to that first push point, you wait a count of two or three or four or five. And then push out. Sometimes get one last little drop that way. Another kind of rule of thumb is to put these things back in their rack. We don't like to leave them on their side because then the liquids get into the mechanism. It's not good. And it reads 1.00286. So that pipette may be a little bit heavy or um, the temperature of the water isn't exactly uh, correct. Probably the temperature. That's pretty good though. That's two parts per thousand error if it's an error at all. Uh, you might be interested to know just how reliable that is, 1.00281. So you can just, you know, remove that. Notice that we're always very gentle with these doors. They're made of real glass. They will shatter. It'd be expensive to fix them and What's worse, you'd have to go through GT procurement to fix them, so that's not going to be fun. Let's put it back. Notice that now it reads negative because I had teared it. Okay? And if I hadn't written down the amount of the actual cell before I teared it, I could be in trouble with this. Sometimes you really want to know the empty weight. So I always write the tear weight down. Let's give it a chance to come back. 1.00266, it's still thinking, still settling slightly. And it's struggling to settle because it's probably evaporating a little bit. Okay, 00262, let's see if we can just lift it and put it back. Have it come back quickly. And again, it's when this, when I get a little G light there, then I'm okay. 1.00256, so it lost, what, Six, 60 micrograms? 600 grams? 60 So it's evaporating, and you can 
we detect that with something we sense it again. We're done. And I use my knuckles, they're usually pretty clean. And because I had actually touched it once with my hands, I'll go ahead and sanitize it quickly. tell you that we're going to be glad to have isopropanol back again. It's nicer. Okay. Yeah, I should probably hit the zero so it goes in. Now one thing that you might want to check, it's usually okay, this machine usually okay. So lower dot down here at the lower left. You can push the cal button and you can do an internal or external cal. I recommend the internal. The external would be that you put on weights of known amount. And if the microphones picked it up, you heard a little bit of mechanical noise, it actually physically lifts up. A motor goes in there and lifts up and puts something, hangs something on the pan from below. And it is now trying to get that known calibration weight, with whatever it's hanging on it. And it's uh, got to be stabilized against oxidation or any other problems that would change its weight. So it's got a calibration weight of some kind there. And it'll come back on. gives us a report saying that the deviation from the last time was actually zero. Zero point zero 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 grams was the deviation from the last calibration. So uh, it's pretty much uh, decided that's the right way. Okay, so there's one more thing that's very important to do at this point. I guess you can accept this by hitting close that window. And then, very, very important, put its cover back on. You know, all sorts of disasters happen in the lab. Somebody's walking and they trip and they throw a bottle of solvent up in the air. And this is designed to protect against that kind of disaster. Now, there's one other thing that I didn't show you. If you come to the balance and it's dirty, um, you can brush the uh, powder off of the surface of it. If it's more than that, then you want to come get me or somebody else who really knows the balance. This camel hair brush can sit up there. And then right behind it, we have the Sartorius user's manual. And uh, that can be helpful. Okay. So, I guess I've showed you that it's pretty simple to use. And we try to uh, keep the surface clean. And it's the cleanest balance I know that's seven years old.